Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dan from Access Analog, and today I'm going to go through one of the most important features of our plugin, which is known as Offline Bounce. And I'm going to go through it by way of example. So I've got a stem that I've been working on all day, I've got the EQ to trim it up a little bit, then I've got the uh, Fusion to colorize it, and I am ready to do my bounce, I'm ready to do my print. And at this point, I have two options. The first option is I could create another track in my DAW and route the output of my first track back to the, the second track and record it on the second track. I would do that in real time. In other words, I would stream the audio over the internet and then play it through our gear and then back and record it on the second track. Now, I would say probably more than half of our users use that method because they have their internet connection as a very solid internet connection. You can see here, my uplink and downlink internet connections are very solid. There's no, no nothing here that shows me that uh, I'm dropping, I'm having dropouts in the internet. However, that doesn't always happen to me. And sometimes I do get dropouts in my internet. And so that's when I wanna make sure that when I do my bounce, I'm not gonna be impacted by any internet issues. So that's when I go to the offline bounce. So the way I do that, I'm going to stop the playback here. I'm gonna to go to the source panel. And there is uh, several things that I will go through in a different video that describes how our cloud storage for audio files work. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you a real quick way to get your audio up to our server. I'm going to drag the file in here. And what happened there was I have now just uploaded all the audio that I wanna bounce that's in this stem. I uploaded it to our server so it's sitting on a file and there's no way the internet is gonna affect it. At this point, it's guaranteed to be good audio. So then I go here, I make sure my uh, equipment is still set up the way that I want, which it is. And then I go to my bounce tab. Right now I have the option to select, I think this time I'm gonna set it to 44.1. I can select the output sample rate of the file, the bit depth, I'll leave it at 24. The extend tail, this is an option specifically for people who have reverb in their chain. If you wanna capture the tail of a reverb decay, you might wanna set this to two, four, or eight seconds. For me, I don't have a reverb in there, so I'm gonna leave it at zero. My stem is in stereo format, so I'm gonna do a stereo bounce, and I press the bounce. Now, while that's happening, I wanna explain two features on here. You can see the bounce status is happening right here. You can see that this file up here is now part of my uh, bounce file directory. But one critical box that's on this tab is this automatically download completed bounces. If this box is checked, then at the same time the file is being bounced, it's also being downloaded to your computer to this directory. So in my case, it goes to the desktop. So if I look at that, I bring it up here, I go to my desktop, you can see that I now have this Hammond final B1 that I just bounced up here. It's already downloaded to my desktop. Now, for some reason, you don't wanna check that box, you don't wanna download it. You can always download that later just by checking the pushing the uh, down arrow button. And if you wanna delete it from our directories on our cloud once you're done, you can do it there. So that's a quick uh, explanation of how to do the offline bounce. It's pretty simple. You just upload your source, make sure your equipment is set correctly, go here and press the bounce tab, bounce button, excuse me, and then you're good to go. I hope that's helpful. And from all of us at uh, Access Analog, from our racks to your tracks, it's Access Analog.